pleasant good morning and welcome to Coach's Corner, live from the McDonald's on Madison's Hilltop. We do this every Saturday morning from the McDonald's here on the Hilltop. I'm Jordan Bear, and in a way I'm sitting in for Timmy T this morning, but you're still going to hear his voice because, of course, the head coach of Shalvati Hilltop or softball. Pretty good night for them last night. Tim joins me this morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Jordan. How are you, sir? Good, you? Not too bad. Good. So... You had a pretty good night last night. It was a good night last night. A good way to, to finish out the regular season with a win. Uh, kind of uh, a good way to, to wrap up the regular season on a high note. Um, and, and, and hopefully it, it shows um, the girls that when they go out and execute and do things, um, good things will happen. And we saw some, a lot of positives last night. Well, you know, and also a big thing, not only getting it in your regular season finale, some momentum going into the sectional, but it was also on senior night where you honor three seniors that you've had the privilege of being with now. For yeah, the seniors, it's always great to get a win on senior night. Uh, it's it's great to honor them. It's sad to see them go, uh, but it's, it's great to honor them and, and, and see them all contribute as they did last night night um, and you know we we scored 14 runs last night it was we and we had been shut out in the three previous games so that's kind of big for us and uh, but to get a win on senior night uh, you know kind of an emotional night for everybody and, and it, it went well and it that's you know we were happy that we got it you and I have talked multiple times about you know softball baseball it all amounts to the same thing when you coach a team a big thing you got to teach them and you have to hope they learn our fundamentals because the fundamentals are probably 75 to 80 percent of the game we work on fundamentals every day, simple stuff, uh, you know, just throwing and catching and hitting and just the basic things that we do, and it's it's learning by repetition. Uh, they they We try to get them to do the right thing every day, um, so that will kind of stick in their mind that they don't have to think about it. Um, sometimes that's successful, and sometimes it's not, but uh, we keep plugging away, and and I think as long as they understand that, that, you know, if they can get it in their mindset to break those bad habits or those habits they developed um, and do it a different way, I think, you know, better things will happen. And, and we've seen a lot of progress since the 1st of March when we started softball. Um, we saw progress in, during conditioning back in, in January and February. So it's, it's, it's continual improvement. It's getting better today, better today than you were yesterday. Um, and they've done a, a nice job with that, um, as I told them last night in our post-game meeting you know they we want them to desire more every time they go out um, and if they give us a little more we're going to want a little more than that um, and you know just it's it's the demanding part of the game where you want to try to get better every time you go out and and they've done that throughout the season it's not at, at the level we want it to be at yet but it it's it's getting there you talk about you know wins and losses are part of the game but just talk about what this group this year has meant to you as a whole just getting to know them as a team they're an interesting group um they're a fun group um you know three seniors two juniors five sophomores and a freshman um a lot of inexperience but a lot of experience um each one brings a little something different to the table um you know pitchers and catchers are probably the the premium spot in in softball and and i've got a senior at each spot pr predominantly um taking care of things um you know shannon i tell she's been our catcher for three years she's essentially caught every inning for the last three seasons um kristen snodgrass has, has pitched for us predominantly the last three seasons you know mostly most of the innings of every game um you know, we've had some kids filling in here and there. Charity Green has played uh, this season. I think I counted last night. She's played five different positions as a senior. You know, we've asked her to do some different things, and I feel comfortable uh, putting her in, in certain situations because I feel like she can handle it. Um, if you would have, and I just told the coaches this the other day, if you would have told me at the beginning of season that, that I would have enough confidence in Charity to put her in different positions, I would have doubted that, but now I'm I'm comfortable with putting her anywhere and letting her do what she needs to do and, and giving the effort that she needs to give and you know and they all three know uh, as everybody knows that that's on this you know program within this program whatever they give us we're going to ask them for a little bit more. You mentioned how this group has been a fun group to work with. You know each group is special in their own right. What are you going to remember most about this team? Um. There's 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 highs and lows like it is for every program, uh, but one of the things that kind of sticks in my mind that that this group will do, um, this has probably been the most vocal group of girls I've had in five seasons. Um, 
a lot of times, especially for, for a program that struggled, you, you get down, you get behind, you get behind early, and everybody kind of goes silent. Um, this group um, seems to be pretty vocal, regardless to what the score is, and, and that's what I like because when we do radio, when we do a basketball game, um, if it's a blowout score, you don't focus on the score. You focus on the, each individual sure. play. That's what we try to do, regardless of what the score is. We're trying to focus on each pitch, whether it's offense or defense. And, and this group has been a little more engaged for the entire season than I think I've seen in five seasons. And it, that had to make you feel great about it last night because, you know, you get a victory on senior night, and you have sectionals coming up in just a couple of days. You got a very, very favorable draw, probably about as good of a draw as you can get. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the best better draws we, we've gotten um, you know I, I guess best case scenario would be we would have drawn into a semifinal game um, against the team we could compete with but we'll take what we get uh, drawing Borden um, we have to go all the way to Lanesville to play but it is what it is last year we went to to Borden to play Lanesville this year we're going to go to Lanesville to play Borden so it's not a short road trip but but it gives us an opportunity I think from last night to build through practice today we'll work on things that we we were a little bit short on last night and then we'll get into Monday and hopefully you know put that into play let's talk about the seniors that are with you today of course they've been with you now you're you've been at Shaw for five seasons this is one of your first groups that you've taken through all four years talk about how they've progressed over the years and what they've meant to you personally and the program well to me you know you and I tell these girls every year I tell every group the same thing is is when we're in the season they become a part of my family uh, because we spend so much time together uh, day in and day out and I feel like they're an extension of my immediate family and you know you become attached to them and then you see them the next year and then you see them the next year and um, for Charity and for Shannon they've been with me for three years Kristen's been with me for four years actually five years because she came to uh, to us during practice and her eighth grade year so we've spent a lot of time together between those three through you know three and four seasons five seasons and you know you become attached to them and you you kind of get to know them and their personal lives and what they do and what their interests are and and kind of their good points and uh, weaker points and you know it, it, it carries beyond softball um, to try to build these kids to, to make good decisions because when they get out in the world we want them to make good decisions too and you know uh, one of the things I like to see is them make good decisions on the field that way I, I feel more comfortable that when they get out in the world they're going to make good decisions as well um, but you know you just become um, very good with with you know very close with them um, and and again you know I've said it a couple of times you know I hope that us as coaches we've made them better people and I know as as a coach they've made me a better person because I I, I have to coach based on what their personality is and and sometimes you you have to maybe go against what you think sometimes we uh you know we hear the radio ads play on our station all the time about how sports is not just about championships it's not just about winning and losing it's about helping you mold as they get older and maybe that's something you know wins and losses again that's whatever but now you can look back and say that was a successful group because now look at what they're doing right and and you know when you have a program that struggles with numbers and and you, you're trying to to put together you know you talked about fundamentals we're trying to be better fundamentally and you, you get kids that come to your program that um, you know they haven't played before uh, or they played very little and so we go back to fundamentals and trying to teach fundamentals and what they need to do and how they need to do it and you know instead of us focusing on some intangible stuff with you know stealing and base running and and you know how to play defense and cutoffs and that you're just working on hitting and, and catching and, and and fielding and just the basic things but um you know this group has progressed um you know each one of the three seniors as as, as the other eight have they progressed to the point where you know things two and three years ago they couldn't do they can do now um, and I've seen it from, from all the kids. Um, as a matter of fact, um, one of my sophomores, Johanna Leatherman, we, I found a video on my phone of her hitting off the tee last year during her freshman year. I just found it the other day when I was looking for something. And the video from then compared to how she hits now is like night and day. And, you know, that again enforces she's working hard, we're working hard, and we're trying to all achieve the same goal. Well, let's talk about some of the other players that have been with you this year. All right, I mentioned the seniors. Um, Kristen Snodgrass, uh, Charity Green, and Shannon Itell are juniors. Are um, Grace McAllister and uh, Jesse Stewart. 
uh, five sophomores, Johanna Leatherman, um, Katie Dewerstock, Becca Hillenberg, Amy Corbin Sanchez, and then our and Presley Coots, and then our freshman um, Jalen Lee. And you, we, we mentioned the numbers here. You know, at a school like Shaw, I know it was a struggle when I was there. You have dual sport athletes, and talk about how that has played into a factor this year for you. Well, you know, and with such a, a small school and small numbers, you you want them to be as active as they can be playing dual sports and I was just thinking um, the other day um, Grace McAllister she's she will actually have played six sports this school year uh, she played three in the fall played basketball and then two here in the in the spring with track and, and softball so um, and she played um, soccer volleyball and cross country in the fall so um, uh, and that's that's tough. It's tough to play one or two sports during the course of an entire school year, much less six. So, um, but you know, she Grace uh, ran track and played softball. Kristen played tennis and played softball. Y you know, you you're you're glad that they're helping programs. You you want them to be able to contribute as much as they can in in different spots. Um, but it's 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 a challenge too for coaches because you're not spending as much time as you as you want and need to be spending with them. But you know all of the coaches over there understand that that's just the way it works and you, you have to deal with it and, and make the best of it. It's it's better to do that than than not have the numbers to be able to play. Well, and it's almost hard to tell kids, especially these days, hey, don't participate. In no, no, no. And you know, and and for me, I, I wouldn't want to tell a kid that to begin with and, and number two if they're playing in another sport and they're conditioning in another sport and they're doing other things they're staying active they're they're you know they may be doing something in another sport that may be helping them in the sport you're coaching sure. so you know that activity you know we like um we just don't want them to overdo it um and i'm not sure how you can you know monitor that where they don't run themselves down but you know, you do the best you can with what you have to work with, and you, and you work with what you can. I wonder if that's a school record of some sort, <laughs> playing six sports in a season. I really do wonder that's, that. It's amazing. I mean, kudos to her, though, yeah. for doing that. I mean, that, that is awesome. I'd rather see that than not. Right. Um, you know, we mentioned you're going to be losing a few seniors. Let's talk about the junior high program real quick, because one of the most important things for any program to be successful, you look at the major schools like Silver Creek and uh, Greensburg, Franklin County, South Dearborn, they all have very, very good feeder programs. Shaw right now has a very solid junior high program. The future looks bright. Well, last year was the first year that, that we've dabbled in the junior high program. Um, I've tried to to start it the first two or three years, and there wasn't enough numbers. But last year they were able to get enough kids to come out and play. And then y this year we have a, a full-fledged junior high team with a, a, with a full schedule. Um, and that's so important because now we're going to be getting kids that have experience on the field instead of ones that don't have experience on the field and hopefully that will allow us as varsity coaches to be a little bit more liberal with what we're doing and training and that we still want to focus on fundamentals we just don't have to focus as much on fundamentals um you know colin toller uh lane turner uh, they kind of take care of the junior high program julie vaughn as well so you know that having a full-fledged junior high team this year and I, I don't know exactly what their numbers are but I know it's 13 14 15 kids um, and that's outstanding most of the kids on that program uh, on that team are uh, sixth and seventh graders so um, yeah it's it's if everybody sticks with it and we hope hope that they do um, it's going to be nice for, for the varsity program uh, I don't know if we'll ever get to the point where we'll have a, a JV team at the at the level we're at at high school, but at least a junior pri junior high program will help us considerably. Let's look ahead now. You have again sectionals coming up on Monday. You're taking on the board and Lady Braves. Now, what two or three years ago they were the state champions, mm -hmm. and they are down this year. They're, They're a little down this year. Uh, I haven't really, you know, we're, we're going to worry about that. I'll take care of looking at Borden coming up today and tomorrow. Um, but I know they're down a little bit, but they're a couple of years removed from a state championship. Um, and, and they experience what every program does, the ups and downs of having, you know, the players they need to, to be at that level. And then, you know, sometimes you don't have the, the, the restocking that you want with, with players you need. And, and it's a it's a more of a challenge. And that's kind of what makes coaching fun for me is, is making sure that we try to develop kids the best we can to get them to the level we need to get them at to play at the varsity level. But, you know, we're going to go into Monday with the with – the, 
the mindset that we have an opportunity to win and move on to to Tuesday night. And um, you know, it's it's like with every sport. If you walk into the game thinking you don't have a chance, you don't. Um, if we walk into the game thinking we have an opportunity, we have an opportunity. How? What would it mean for this team to just pull off a victory Monday? Um, it, it would be big in a lot of different ways. Um, I mean, just kind of keeping things simplistic it, it just means we get to play another night of softball for one but to go and um, you know have a tough season you know we started with 16 straight losses before we picked up a win this year um, you know it's 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 big for more for morale you know winning kind of you know it it, it it kind of is a domino effect. When you win, um, everybody gets that fever to do it again and do it again. And, you know, we hope that from last night, you know, getting that victory um, over Christian Academy, that, that we have an opportunity to put the ball in play and we can play defense and we can make the right plays and, you know, we can communicate when we need to and just the little things that we need to do to be successful. But if we can do that, even if we, if we can't win on Monday but we still play a quality game, you know, that still means a lot to us. Having some fun here with this group. Uh, you know, Tim was talking a little bit ago about how much fun this group is. And you can tell just they all enjoy being around each other. And sometimes, Tim, that's even better than the wins and losses. Well, it, it is. Um, you know, everybody kind of stays on the up and up for the most part. And they, they've got they've got their own little niche that, that they all have and bring to the table. And you kind of come, especially these, these seniors, you kind of come to understand what every day means to them and it's it's a fun group to be around let's go ahead and meet them tim why don't you introduce them all right i've got kristen snodgrass uh she'll talk first then we'll and she's our pitcher shannon i tell our catcher and then um it'll be charity green our utility person who has played almost every position she's third she's short she's left she's right she's second she can play a lot of different positions but we'll start with kristen snodgrass all right well hello kristen good morning good morning how are you doing i'm good how are you not too bad so <laughs> talk about your four years uh, playing softball for Tim at Shaw? Um, Tim's been my coach all four, technically five years. He's one of the best coaches I've probably ever had. Um, this year, this team has probably been the most fun to be around. I enjoy softball. <laughs> you know, again, we talk about it. You picked up your first win last night, but you said you've had some of the most fun you've had this year. Why this year? Uh, I think the girls are just really fun to be around. They always are positive and ready to play. So I think that definitely makes a difference. Is it a team that you'll remember when you're done here? Yes, most definitely. When, now talk about as a senior, one who you've played since you were an eighth grader. What is your role to the younger kids on the team? Um, just to be a role model, try to stay positive always. That's kind of hard sometimes for me as pitching. Some long innings are kind of hard to stay positive, but... I try my hardest. <laughs> Talk about what last night meant to you, because it was your senior night. You go out there, you grab a victory on senior night. Talk about what that meant to you personally. Um, I don't know. It just felt really good because these girls have been improving all year long. They've been working hard. So to finally pick up this win meant a lot. You have sectionals coming up on Monday. What would a victory in a sectional mean for you? It would mean a lot. Um, all four years, we haven't really had a victory that I know of in a sectional game, so that would be really cool to get one finally. Um, we were talking about the junior high program just a minute ago. What's your message to those young junior high kids? Just to always work hard. They're a pretty good team, so I think once they become seniors or juniors in high school, I think their team will be really good. Now, you're a senior. Where are you going to be heading to school? Uh, University of Indianapolis. What are you going to be studying? Nursing. Nursing. Okay. Well, Kristen, thank you very much, and best of luck to you, okay? Thank you. Kristen Snagrass, one of three seniors that are joining us here this morning. Again, she said she's going to be heading to the University of Indianapolis. She'll be the starting pitcher for the Lady Hilltoppers. And now we are joined by Charity Green. Is that your name correct? Mm -hmm. Yep, Charity Green. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. What happened to your eye? <laughs> Uh, Tim was hitting me balls and I missed it. <laughs> I caught it with my face. Did you catch it at least? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, talk about you've been playing three years. He said you're kind of a utility player. Uh, talk about your experience playing softball at Shaw. Well, I started my sophomore year, and it was basically because Kristen came up to me and she's like, we need players. You're going to play softball. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. 
and ever since I've never regretted that decision. So you're, you're very happy with the decision you made? Yes. So talk about what this group this year has meant to you just as a whole being around them. I feel like sometimes we can really get on each other's nerves but then other times we can be like the biggest family. You know you mentioned families again we talk about you know all the success you could have on the field you know as far as skill wise but sometimes the family aspect is the thing you'll remember the most. Is that what you're going to remember most about this? Yes. Now, when you look forward to Monday, what, what do you want to see happen with the team on Monday? Effort. Yeah. I want everybody to put in a whole bunch of effort and everyone gives it 101%. Let's look back on your three years at Shaw. What's been your favorite memory so far? Oh, the I don't I, know. The, the I? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I think my favorite memory this year is when I caught a pot fly and fell on my butt. Everyone laughed at me. <laughs> and that was a good memory for you? Yeah, because <laughs> I caught the ball. Okay, that, that's fair. What's your message to younger, younger girls that are thinking about playing softball in the future years? I'd say just jump in and do it. It may be scary at first. It was definitely scary for me, but you'll get used to it. And Tim's an amazing coach. There you go. Talk about what he's meant to you over your few years, just him personally. Tim, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can say whatever you want. He's, uh, I think he's meant a lot to me. He's kind of given me a lot of positivity, you know, pulled me aside sometimes if I'm having a bad day. And he just, I'm going to miss him a lot. So he's meant more to you than just a coach. He's just yeah. been a great person to you. Where are you going to be heading for college next year? Ivy Tech. Ivy Tech, what are you going to study? Nursing. Nursing, okay, yeah, a group of nurses here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Charity, and best of luck to you. You too. All right, so one more senior to chat with this morning, and that is the catcher, Shannon Itell. Shannon, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? I'm well, how are you? I'm doing well. So talk about your year this year for softball and what these three years at Shaw have meant to you. Mm -hmm. My three years of Shaw have definitely, they've been really hard obviously I've caught three full seasons of catching so it's definitely difficult on a person um, but they've pushed me to be a better player overall and they brought me back into softball I did I quit playing softball for a few years and then I came back into it so it brought me my love back for the sport and it's grown and <laughs> it's made my love for it even stronger you, you mentioned that you you stepped away from it for a mm -hmm. while what drew you back into it um just obviously I saw that they needed players and I thought I could definitely be a benefit to their team and so and obviously Kristen came up to me and she <laughs> was like hey we need players and so I said yes I'll do it and I've never regretted that decision she has that effect huh yes <laughs> <laughs> so you know you've been there for three years mm -hmm. You got your victory last night on senior night. What was that moment when you, that final lot happened? It was your senior night and you finally got that first win. Uh, that all the hard work and all the time we've put in our practices has finally paid off. You look ahead as a senior, you look at some of the younger players that are all, some of them are even here mm -hmm. today. What's your message to them as they sit here? Just to stick with it and to put an effort and to give it 100%. And to also, if you do make a mistake in practice or a game, learn from it and build on it and to keep going forward. You've been with Tim for three years. What's he meant to you? Mm -hmm. uh, he's pushed me to be a better player and a better person. He's believed in me the whole three years and has just kept pushing me and pushing me and pushing me. So. <laughs> you, you have sectionals coming up on mm -hmm. Monday. That'd be a heck of a way to cap your senior year oh, yes. with a victory in the sectional, wouldn't it? Yes, it definitely would be. Where are you going to be heading for, your co for college? Uh, University of Southern Indiana. Okay, what are you going to study? Dental hygiene. Dental hygiene, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, Shannon, thank you very much, and best of luck, okay? Thank you. Man, Tim, you uh, got a interesting group of three seniors here this morning. Yeah, they they uh, they bring a little something different to the table, and but they, they're all special, and, and, you know, and they talk about – as I mentioned earlier, you know, things that, that I've done with them, and but they've also made me a better coach and a better person, too, being around them and, you know, pushing them, you know, and we talked earlier about, you know, we, we want 100 percent. When they give it, we want 101 percent. When they give it, we want 102 percent. We're always asking for more, and, and all three of the seniors know and, and the other eight know that, you know, once we get to a point we're not satisfied with it, when we make a great play, we're, we're not going to be satisfied. We want that to happen again. Um, when we're at the plate, we get a base hit. We we want that con to continue. The next time, we want you know good base running. We you know it's just a demanding thing, time in and time out. 
and even though we talk about you know them being a fun group and having a great time um, and having some fun times when you're a family not every family gets along all the time so there's rough spots sometimes but you work through them and that's part of you know life's lessons is figuring out how to work through them and 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 making things better for the next time and you know it's a great group um, you know that led by the three seniors and then the other eight that that we're hopefully going to see for another few more years um, is I'm looking forward to it but we're going to miss the three seniors well, and they're all talking to these younger kids and you know wanting to you know get them involved and stick with it you know and Kristen mentioned you know the junior high team in a few years you see the numbers get better and better potentially could have a pretty special season maybe here I, I hope so you know we're, we're hoping that and and again you know as I told the seniors and I tell every senior class that that's come through you know, you're setting the, the groundwork for the next group that comes through. So we want to always make sure we lead by example. And I think I think these three has done a pretty good job this year, leading by example. And, you know, if I'm not there at 4 o'clock when we start practice, they get things rolling. They know what they're supposed to do. And for me, it makes me proud as a coach to see them take the initiative to go forward. All right, excellent. Well, Tim, thank you very much for joining me this morning. And best of luck on Monday, okay? Thanks, Stuart. Appreciate it. Big thanks to Tim Torrance and... Uh, the seniors for chatting with me this morning, Kristen Stongrass, Jan and I tell Charity Green. Thanks to Tyson Torrance back in studio. Got one more commercial to get in. We'll send it back to the best variety of music here on Works 96.7 WORX.